The golden voice that made you moist probably still makes you moist if you listen carefully, if you read between the lines, if you look beyond the gruff exterior, the puffy eyes, the gray sideburns. This is your old pal Rand with the Premier Pro 430th taping results. That's right, you idiots. Good luck catching up. 430 tapings. Put that in your dirty little Indian pipes and smoke it. Don't forget, folks, the reason we do all this is, of course, revenue. We need your help, and you're going to get more than your money's worth if you follow some simple directions by your old pal, Uncle Rand. That's right. Subscribe to Premier Pro Wrestling on Patreon. The $2 tier gets you the weekly Randcast, the Premier Pro version of the podcast, where you get myself and Casey James, two of the youngest old-timers in the history of the industry today. For the $4 tier, you get the aforementioned commercial free and uninterrupted and our weekly main events. And we do tape wrestling weekly here. That's how we got up to 430, you idiots. And for the $6 tier, you get the aforementioned 500 plus exclusive matches, almost 200 Randcast that we've got in the tin in our big monthly tapings. And last month, you're going to clean up because the big monthly taping was a big weekend taping. That's right. You get two times, two times, two times the current content at the $6 tier. And again, why say no one to feel so good to say yes? Again, a shout out to our pals over at Pro Wrestling Tees, Premier Pro Wrestling at Pro Wrestling Tees, our official merchandise store. And if you are devout to CM Punk, like we are devout to CM Punk over at Red Bubble, Premier Pro Wrestling has a beautiful shirt out. You gots to, gots to, gots to see that says, I stand with Punk. Now, on to the results. And also, accompanying these results are video finishes. The opening contest featured the Premier Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. I said it on commentary, and I mean it with my heart and soul. He is within the top 20 most talented wrestlers in the sport today. El Guerrero, Premier Pro Wrestling's Heavyweight Champion, taking on the up-and-comer, the newcomer from the Premier Pro Wrestling Training Academy, Dayton Perilli. Jose did what Jose does with a lot of surprise and a lot of resistance from the up and comer. And this is what happened at the finish of that one. Don't get frustrated, Dayton. You got to stay on him. Yeah, it's just hard to do. How do you do it when that leg is ailing like it is? But he's still, he's got to lay that shit in. Staggering into the corner. Oh, on oh, the same leg. It's the same leg. And there we go. And I'm telling you, kid, at this point, as to, if you don't need surgery yet, it might be smart to tap out here and live to fight another day. Oh, Jose twerking. Oh, Dayton. he's nowhere near the ropes. This might be it. No shame if he does. No shame if he does. He's 11 minutes in with the heavyweight champ, one of the top guys in the industry, the industry as a whole. Definitely. I'll be damned, he's not tapping. He's not tapping. Oh, I spoke too soon. Maybe I jinxed him, man. Don't forget, folks. Premier Pro Wrestling on Patreon. $2 tier gets you the weekly Rand cast. That's it, he gave. The next match featured Marcus the Science Smith, who feels that he has really come into his own and feels it constantly, constantly, constantly Necessary to remind you, to remind us, to be honest with you, I think he's trying to convince himself that nobody makes him look stupid. However, he did look stupid at moments in that matchup, but here's what happened when he tangled with the American beard. A lot of carcasses uh, back on the eighth and eight to break the count. The beard is recovered. Whoa! And it's on like Donkey Kong. The beard is flying. It's like Metal Lark Lemon in a basketball. Marcus the Science Smith being the basketball. Oh! Get him, kid, get him. A one, 
And here we go. Oh, uh, one. He's ignoring the lower body, though. Oh. He went for that cover too quickly. In my opinion, if he would have hooked one leg, he would have got the three count and walked out of there with that bell rung. But he's not done yet. Fifteen minutes gone. Oh, oh the science out of nowhere. And look at the innovation of the science. He broke him in half. And then, again, probably one of the best matches. You're going to get that son bitch for free this week. And we're hoping that seeing the quality of these matches will show you what the Premier Pro Wrestling main, semi-main, and original concept matches on Patreon are like. The Challenge Pro Champion, the Triple Threat Champion, Sam Say, had a non-title matchup against one Jake Hazard, a man from Okinawa, Japan, who proved to be one hell of a formidable opponent in that Triple Threat matchup. And here's what happened there. And after you see the finish of this one, I'll fill you in on what it's leading to this week if you can come and attend live in Woodstock, Illinois, this Saturday night at our weekly tape. Is he going to try to knock some off the apron? That's all it's going to take, right? He's going to try to soup him in. Good. A man would do that. Whoa, but uh -oh. Oh, look at Sam put on the brakes. Oh, Sam fighting for dear life. Sam's trying to stay on the apron. Sam oh. is trying. He's effed either way. Suplexed in the heart where he hits the floor and loses this non-title match. But no, they're on the same page. They're going to double soup him in. They got him up. Oh. They got him up at Sam. Oh! That's right, there was no winner. The way you win our Challenge Pro match, you must beat your man via, beat one of the men via pinfall, submission, or if you can eliminate him over the top rope. Well, you saw there, there was no winner. So this week, it's the big rematch. However, the stakes are higher because the belt is on the line. Challenge Pro Championship matchup. Shemshe versus 0-6 versus heavy metal Jake Hazard. Now, match number five, unbelievable. Jay Leone has been training at the Premier Academy for about a year and change now. He's been coming into his own. Him and the team of Adam Rockstar, Rosie Rosencrantz have had one hell of a showing and by all practical purposes should be Premier Pro Wrestling's new and current tag team champions, but they aren't. You got to go to our Patreon to see what unfolded there. However, tonight his mud was checked, his metal tested, and he stood up and actually had the sand when he faced an establishing, a quickly establishing star and badass Brandon Campbell, the premier pro wrestling's king of the Iron Man. Jay was handed an opportunity. He had a lot of naysayers, but like he says in his ring music, he never ever backs down. And he certainly didn't back down in here because Brandon Campbell squeaked by on a 4-2-3 victory at the king of the Iron Man. Jeez, try calling this one. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, right in the face. Man. Oh, one, two, three. Brandon Campbell, four. Jay Leon, three. And we are creeping up at the 27 minute mark. Brandon's hitting him, but he's not hitting him as much as he was 20 minutes ago, is he? Nope. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then the main event of the evening would have been a main event anywhere. I'm talking anywhere. But this night, we were lucky. We were all fortunate, and those of you who have our Patreon will be very fortunate to see this matchup. And this match, which was already compelling, featured El Guerrero, Premier Pro Wrestling's heavyweight champion, one half of the tag team champions, Marcus the Science Smith, again, the man that nobody makes him look stupid, faced Rockstar Rosie and Sem Say the American Ninja Warrior. 
Now, if this match wasn't already enough to get your goat, I like that, get your goat. Get your goat. When's the last time you heard that? Eh, tell your grandfather, stop trying to get my goat, grandpa. He'll know exactly what you're talking about. If you want to be grandpa's favorite this close to the holidays, if you want to get $50 in your Christmas card while your siblings are getting 20 you tell grandpa this week when you see him or call him and tell him, stop trying to get my goat, grandpa. If it wasn't already compelling enough, Rockstar threw out the challenge. He said, one thing I'm going to ask as humbly and confidently as I can. If I get the pinfall on Marcus the Science Smith in this matchup, can Jay Leon and I have a rematch for the titles next week? Marcus the Science Smith reluctantly agreed. And you know what? It didn't matter what Marcus the Science Smith thought because when the idea hit me, I'm the one who is the Pope around here. I'm Moses that comes in and says, part to the Red Sea. Hell, that's a hell of an idea. Well, when Rockstar Rosie pinned Marcus the Science Smith, like you're going to see right here, he earned himself and his tag team partner, Jay Leon, another shot at the titles this Saturday night against Charlie and Marcus. Talk about Come momentum on. shift, Look at though. This, man. Go check time. Closer. Separate the men from the boys. Oh, Sam's whoa. fired up. Is he going to get the oh. tag? Oh, here comes Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Sam holds a grudge. Sam holds a grudge, Marcus, you punk. And he is a punk. The turd in the punch bowl. There goes Jose by Felicia. And there goes the on top of Jose. A tag is made. He wants the rock star to get that win. Oh! Dude, Sam Say is being unselfish. He's being unselfish. Look at this. He's throwing Marcus the Science Smith in. What a game plan. What a game plan. On the plan. shoulders. The Machumba bomb. The Machumba. Oh. And there it is. Well, there you have it. Premier Pro Wrestling, Premier Pro. We're not entitled like the Indians. Around here, you got to put in your work. We put in our own work. Just like the movie Training Day, my nizzles. We put in your own work around here, my nizzles. And Rockstar Rosie earned that right. Unselfishly for himself and his partner. This Saturday night, if you are within earshot of Woodstock, Illinois, technically Chicagoland, and also in such a sweet spot because we are so simple to get through from Southeast Wisconsin, come on out and see this Saturday night. The Rockstar and Jay Leon for the titles against the champions. El Guerrero faces Brandon Campbell, El Guerrero the heavyweight champ, faces the King of the Iron Man champion, and the winner in that one is the number one contender for the other's belt. And then again, that big rematch, the Challenge Pro Championship. That's three belts on the line! This Saturday night when Semsei defends against Jake Hazard and Zero Six. Don't forget again, Premier Pro Wrestling on Patreon, Premier Pro Wrestling on Pro Wrestling Tees, and I support Punk Premier Pro Wrestling on Red Bubble. Thanks to Pants Low Children. Hopefully, we'll see all y'all soon.